You'll be receiving a kit from the pharmacy which should include all the supplies needed to administer your injections. So at this point, we're ready to go ahead and draw the medication from the vial. So what you wanna do is pop the cap off of the vial and clean the top of the vial thoroughly with a alcohol pad. Now we are going to take the 26 gauge needle and unscrew it from the syringe and attach the 21 gauge needle. So go ahead and peel back the 21 gauge needle wrapper so that it's ready to swap out. Now we're using the 21 gauge to draw from the testosterone vial because the testosterone is oil based and it is a little bit easier and faster if we use the 21 gauge needle to draw. So as you attach that, screw it on. And remember that at this point you need to consider your dosage amount. We're using 0.5 ml for the purpose of this video. Since we are using 0.5 ml as an example, we will need to pull the plunger of the syringe back to the 0.5 ml line to fill the syringe with air. This prevents a vacuum effect from occurring. Insert the needle bevel side up and push the air into the vial. If you push too little air, you'll find it hard to draw out the medicine. And if you put too much air, the medication may be forced out of the syringe. So at this point, you can draw back. Make sure that the needle is completely submerged in the medication so you're not pulling air out of the vial. Now, as you can see, if you have a lot of bubbles, the best thing to do is to push the plunger and push the medicine all the way back into the vial, then redraw again, pulling the plunger back to decrease the amount of bubbles. Now draw the medicine out slowly and if you must, tap the syringe to get the excess bubbles out. Now that you've completed that process, you're going to need to swap out the needles again so that you can get ready to inject. So go ahead and recap, unscrew, and then go ahead and screw on the 26 gauge. So we find that the deltoid is a great area to inject because it is a place that's easily visible. And also sub-Q injections right at the belly is a great place to inject. You will always have to alternate sites, of course, and also the inner thigh, as well as the upper outer quadrant of the buttocks. For the purpose of this video, we'll be using a B12 injection as it's red in color and easily visible on camera. We'll be injecting into the deltoid region using the subcutaneous method. So when you're ready, clean the area with an alcohol pad. Just a tip, allowing the alcohol to dry first will reduce any burning sensation. Remove the cap from the syringe and make sure the needle is bevel side up. Keep the syringe at a 90 degree angle from the injection site and use a dart-like motion to swiftly inject yourself to reduce any discomfort. 
You may notice that it takes longer to inject testosterone as it is oil-based and thicker. Slowly push down on the plunger to inject the entire dose. You will want to remove the needle swiftly to reduce any discomfort when pulling the needle out. Clean the injection site with alcohol pad and use the pad to massage the injection site to prevent any knots or bumps from forming.